Hello, beautiful beings. Natasha Monique here, founder and facilitator of the Awakening Sacred Alchemy program, your modern witch, intuitive tarot and oracle card reading, and welcome. This is the April 2019 weekly air sign reading for the week of April 14th to April 20th. This is for my Gemini's. Libras and Aquariuses. Let's see what's hidden for you for the week of April 15th to April 20th. I'm using Celtic Tarot and Earth Magic Oracle cards. I encourage you to watch your sun, moon, and rising so that you just get a full spectrum of what's going on for you throughout the week. And, of course, if you would like a personal reading or more information about the Awakening to Sacred Alchemy program, please just email me at tarot.tosh.balance at gmail.com. All right, my air signs, my Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, let's see what is hitting for you this week. from the universe. New moon promise. This is a promise to yourself. A promise to yourself that you are going to be authentically and truly you. This is why in your mind, first thing off the bat, this is why this is what the universe is telling you. First thing off the bat, we have the star reversed. This is a need for you to purify yourself, cleanse yourself, get back to one, get back to who you are, get back to your basics. Make that promise to yourself that you're going to get back to Back to your basics. Get back to your true self, your confident, true, eccentric, amazing self. Like, get back to that because you're missing that. You're missing that because in the actions we have here, there is what should be friendly competition that you're taking a little bit too seriously. Like, you're comparing yourself to them. Like, it is, yeah, you're doing good, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. So maybe someone around you is having more success than you are. And so now you're shrinking in. All right? So don't don't shrink in. Don't shrink in. Use this as healthy competition. When they eat, you eat. When they're blessed, you're blessed. All right? Get ideas from other people. Bounce things off of other people. And when you see someone going to a level that you want to be at, ask that person, how do I get there? And then tweak it so that it is uniquely you and get yourself there. That is your focus for this week. Your focus for this week is to also let some shit go. We've got the Six of Cauldrons reversed in our soul section, our, our emotions. Holding on to some emotions of some stuff that happened to you when you were a kid. Come on, man. Tap that away. Release it. Let it go. All right? You need to really let that go. If you need help with it and it's something that's really fucking with you, email me. I got you. I will help you out so you can just let things go. We've got so many wounds from our ancestors, from our childhood, from back then, back then, back then, that we don't even know what they are and what to do with them. So they come back to bite us. So something's going to come back to bite you this week. So just prepare to release it and let it go. Prepare to release it and let it go. And when you're reminded of it, when it comes back, if you get those old feelings, release it, let it go. Fill that space with love and light. All right? Because now... Dun, 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 your higher self, the chariot. This just lets me know that you have the wherewithal, the willpower to make that promise to yourself to be the type of person that you want to be, to put that in your mind, to use constructive criticism to better your own actions, and to let shit go. We've got the chariot. In our higher self position that is like yes I can yes I can do this I can forge forward and do this and I love the chariot card in this deck let me get that to there we go the black and white dragon and the painted lady she's just a painted goddess yes it's like I am a warrior hear me roar I can do anything I can do it and you can do it air signs we can do it air signs 
my moon is in the air sign. So yay, I love hearing these readings when, like, they just give me tingles. Like, oh, yay, I know all of this shit is going to come, like, to pass, going to come at me. But I have the emotional wherewithal to take care of it. I have the spiritual wherewithal to handle it. I have the willpower to handle it. So do some solar plexus work this week, all right? Do, do some work on your solar plexus to really strengthen your solar plexus and your willpower and your ability to shine bright and be you and let go of things that you just don't need anymore. So there is your weekly reading, my air signs. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it resonated with you. Please do comment below and please do like, subscribe, and share. I love you all so much. Peace, love, and blessings. Mwah.